In this video you will see how to control a DC motor over a H-bridge and that with Arduino code. Now let's start to the video. We have this DC motor, you have six connectors and you have one gear gearbox inside here on the back we have two hull sensors and with that you can use it as a rotary encoder so you can connect with the microcontroller and know the exact speed or you can store the the position of the motor and to control that we use a H bridge like this one and there you can connect two motors one on this side one on this side and you have the voltage input and the enable pins for the directions and to control the output and that we do with a microcontroller in this case it's the Arduino Uno now we can connect everything together with the, these wires first we do the H bridge so we have the connector for the power supply ground and the positive voltage in my case it's 6 volts for this diesel motor and the last pin is 5 volts it's for for the microcontroller logical voltage so we can connect this one and we have the, the motor output and we have the enable pin there is a jumper we can remove the jumper then we can connect to the enable it goes to the microcontroller and the other two pins for the direction input 1 input input 2 okay with that we go to the microcontroller to the PWM input and to the power 5 volt the ground and that's all for the microcontroller this side we connect the motor from the six wires we use the two for uh, controlling the motor so and with that that's all we just need to program the, our microcontroller to control the motor and the, rotor, the hull sensors we didn't use it now that's an object for another video Okay, we can do a new sketch. First, we need the outputs. After that, we can go to setup and we choose with which type output input, the mode. And then we can go to the loop. First we test the motor. Okay, and with that we can upload the sketch and have a look if this works. Now we can see it works fine. The motor starts for three seconds, then stops for one second. We can do a ramp for the motor start. We do this with a for loop.
Okay, now we did a start ramp for the motor and now we can test if it works. Yes, yeah, you can see it starts slowly, goes full speed and stops. You can see how the ramp, the PWM signal grows from zero to, to max. That's correct what we want. Thanks for watching the video. Stay productive and I hope I will see you in the next video.